What's up, fellas? It's Short Change Hero, once known as the wonderful Great Jedi Chainsaw. I have since moved on from Jedi Chainsaw. I'm not going to get into the reasons as to why. It just kind of got old. It, it, the whole thing got old. I got off the Twitch thing, got off the YouTube thing for a long time. I just need something fresh and new. Short Change Hero is just something I just figured it would be kind of funny to be kind of a cowboy thing. Whatever. Um, enough about that shit. You know, if you want, before I get into anything, if you want to like and subscribe to the video, that'd be wonderful. I already make like 58, 59 cents a month on monthly ad revenue from, from YouTube. So I'm a pretty high roller as it is, but if you want to subscribe and comment and all that bullshit and give me like 60 cents a month, that'd be great too. Um, you know, it's just, it, well, my kids are, my whole family is living under a bridge now, and, you know, I could use any penny we could get. But seriously, I'll never whore myself off the YouTube. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Um, but my base, what I want to do with this is I really love Overwatch. This is a fun game. It's been a nice distraction from the typical Call of Duty games that I've been playing for, I feel like, the last 900 years. And it's a refreshing game to play. If you haven't gotten it, I would totally, totally get it. It's a wonderful, fun game. But that being said, this game can be utterly, utterly obnoxious, and the characters, every one of them, have the most obnoxious qualities. And I'm about to get into me here. Me or May, me, Bay, Bay, whatever the fuck she is, um, is a, you know, kind of a builder character, I guess. Uh, she runs around with the freeze pop and all that. You know, she's a little Chinese. I think she's Chinese. Is she Chinese? I think she's Chinese. She might be Japanese. I don't really fucking care. I, I know this. She's not Canadian. I don't think she's a Canuck, but she could be. I don't really know. But she's pretty hot. I bang her, right? She's got the little nerdy thing going for her. She's got the little parka in the glasses. And then, what is that little thing they put in their hair? Like a little pencil thing. You know, she's, you know, she's kind of nerdy and boring. And I like it, you know? And all that being said, she sucks major whale cocks. <laughs> and starting off with the worst thing about me is her goddamn freeze pop. I don't find it. I think of all the things about me that I hate, the freeze pop gun is the least annoying thing about her. Um, if you haven't played this game, obviously you just run around and you freeze people. You almost have unlimited ammo and you freeze people and then you shoot them in the face and they're dead. It's really obnoxious. I get it. And I feel like, I, I think most people would, you know, agree that me is really annoying. And I think most people would find that the freeze pop gun is probably the most annoying thing about her. But I disagree. I think the other things about me are way, way more obnoxious than her goddamn freeze pop. And uh, I would say, and also with the freeze pop thing, I mean, it's really effective against DPS assholes like Reaper and Tracer and Cod Bro Bro, aka Soldier 76, and guys like that. But, you know, those other guys like, you know, the tanks and, uh, you know, the builders and everything, everybody else, really, it's really hard to take them down in one shot. So, a little tip if you're going against Roadhog or something like that, you know, try to shoot them a couple times with your, you know, with a long range thing, and then go up and freeze them and shoot them, because you're not going to kill them in one shot most of the time. So. You know, but like I said, it's not that big a deal to me. Uh, her long-range missile, her other gun ability, is like a long-range icicle thing, and I, for whatever reason, it costs like 25 icicles to shoot it, which I, did, I don't know. I'm not hip on the old icicle ammo uh, scene, so I really don't know how that works in icicle ammo world. But this thing is super, super overpowered, in my opinion. I think it's ridiculous. I mean, I don't know how many times I've out-sniped fucking Widowmaker with this thing. And yeah, I get it. You have to be really, really accurate with it. you got a small little practical there, and you can't really do much about it. But it's really powerful if you know how to use it. I don't. I'm, not, I'm a barely, barely manageable fucking me player. I can barely use her. Um, but I think a, a, a competent me player could really be really, really effective with her. Um, but those things are nothing compared to the other two bullshit qualities of me. Starting off with her ice walls of spam. Oh my god, these things are fucking ridiculous. I mean, it's like a five second cooldown after they, uh, you know, they're, you know, get broken or they go away. And I don't know if it's just me, but lately I feel like every game there's like two or three me's on their team. It's just a constant red wall of doom. And it's, I, they're obnoxious and ridiculous. And I think if they just decrease the amount of times you could use it in the game they wouldn't be that bad but it's just everywhere now there's just walls everywhere it's just ridiculous and uh you know i don't think i think the most annoying thing about it though is not so much that you know that when the other team has them because you can wait and obviously they're annoying but they're more annoying when they're you know you have a me on your team and i don't know how many times this has happened to you but this has happened to me a lot where you know i'm running around killing these asshole dps characters like tracer and cod brobro and guys like that and then I have him close to death, and here comes me on my team, and she decides to throw up a random fucking ice wall. And now, you know, I can't shoot Cod Bro Bro, and Cod Bro Bro is going to go off into a little corner and do his little healing circle, and he's going to come back and kill everybody on your fucking team, and uh, you're screwed. <laughs> it's ridiculous. 
but nothing compares to the most obnoxious quality of me, and that is her fucking ice boner. And yes, you heard me correctly. I coined the phrase ice boner because that's what she turned into a fucking impregnable fucking ice boner that you can't do anything about. She already has too many hit points as it is, and then when shit gets tough, like the bitch ass Reaper, yeah, she could just go into, like, you know, Reaper goes into his wraith mode, and then me goes into her ice boner, and there's nothing you can do about it. She gets almost all her health back. You can't shoot it, you can't do anything like uh, with it, and unlike Roadhog, which reminds me, Roadhog, like, what the fuck does Roadhog eat when he gets healed? Like, I don't, is he eating, like, cabbage or something? I, I don't understand it, but Regardless, maybe you guys can tell me what the fuck that is. I just find it funny when he just gets hurt by, you know, like, uh, Cod Bro Bro's, uh, you know, noob tube, and then he eats some fucking clam chowder out of a can, and he's fine. I don't know what that is. Um, but regardless, you can still hurt Roadhog or even kill him when he's using that, and when he's eating his cabbage in a can. And Cod Bro Bro, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% on it, but I'm pretty sure you can hurt him, too. So, I don't know why it is that when me goes into her fucking ice boner of for fucking fortitude, you can't do anything about it, you know? She's just gonna sit back, get her health back, and then she's gonna come up and spam you with her wall or do, you know, her specialty power, which I guess I'll get into that now. Her specialty isn't that bad, really, in, in the grand scheme of things. You know, it just turns the place into an ice rink and freezes everybody. But I don't find that me is that powerful. She can't kill buddy, many people very quickly. It only, it's only effective when you have, like, a bunch of people on your team, and there's a bunch of people right there, and you can kill them all together and stuff. I don't find it that ridiculous. So let's just put it this way. It's far, far better than the other asshole's uh, abilities, like Reaper's die, die, die bullshit, or Hanzo's nuclear fucking powered dragon thing that can chase you like a heat seeking, heat seeking fucking ballistic missile and stuff. It's not nearly as bad as that. But all in all, me is super obnoxious. If I had to rank the bitch, she'd be like number two or three. I'm not gonna spoil who number one is. Reaper, you fucking Call of Duty playing piece of shit. Oh god, I'm just kidding. But that's all I got. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said before, if you want to like and subscribe or comment in the video, in the video that'd be great. You can help me feed my family. <laughs> uh, or, you know, do whatever you want. Until next time, peace out.